Hello everybody, today I'm doing, uh, well I'm finishing this makeup look that I'm doing. Um, I started my base in a get ready with me um, themed St Patrick's Day and then I decided because that took me quite a while because I kept chatting and um, I was trying to get my skin to look nice um, that I would do the eye look in a separate video so that's this video. So if you want to see how I did my base makeup check out in the link down below and I'll put it there. Right, <laughs> because I, they, I'm actually filming this on St Patrick's Day, so I want to get it up. I want to like get it straight up, and so I didn't want to have to edit it down. Basically, that's why I've done two videos. Anyway, less jibber. Um, in the end of the video, I meant to do a little bit of setting spray, and I forgot, so I'm going to do that quickly. <laughs> I did press record <laughs> yeah we're okay right nice and dewy that's the i should have shook it a bit more first that's the nyx dewy finish spray i love this when this runs out i'm buying another one um i really hope that dries <laughs> why did i just start like with messing up dry i normally use my fan see this is gonna end up 20 minutes as well and um my husband's on his way home from work he doesn't know i'm filming Bella's gonna go mad when he gets in so I'm hoping to be finished before he gets home okay what I'm gonna do I just need to find my green yeah I think this palette is perfect it's got the shimmer as well um, I'm just gonna do a really quick and easy green eye look with hopefully eyeliner I'll see how brave I am by the time I finished <laughs> um yeah I think I'm gonna go in that's already got green on it so let's let's go in with that then that makes sense this is one of the nice brushes i got from asda um i'm gonna go in with phantom this is the linda halberg spectral palette um in case you wondered no what's the odds yeah gotta tap your primer out again um i'm gonna go just above the crease because as i've mentioned many many times i have hooded eyes if I go into the crease you can't see it and I end up having to go higher anyway so now I just start above the crease. Oh this is such a nice green. I've got a really bright loose pigment green as well. What I might do, I'm taking this quite deep into the inner corner because I'm going to do a really like sparkly inner corner which I want to look green if that makes sense so. And then on the same on the other side i've got a really annoying like crease in the skin here um so doing just above the crease it's like goes right over it it's so irritating so yeah same again just above the crease and almost slightly higher than the other side and just follow that line like i did these are really pastely but buildable colours so perfect for bright eye looks basically such a nice green it's a very St Patrick's Day green I mentioned in my last video my nan's family were from Ireland um, so we always try and celebrate I'm making a Guinness and uh, Guinness beef and dumpling stew I nearly said Gu Guinness and dumplings just uh, dumplings cooked in Guinness. Huh? <laughs> uh, no, a beef and dumpling stew using Guinness and Guinness chocolate cupcakes is the plan. So I've got a nice bit of that on. And then I'm going to take one of my favourite blending brushes. I'm just going to blend that into the eyelid. Look really nice and soft. And then the top, blend that out. Nothing on the brush, just what's already on the skin because I don't want to accidentally take it too high. Bella's in here today and she's just wandering around. And um, I have to say it's not, not distracting at all. <laughs> if you get my sarcasm there. 
love her to bits but she's being very distracting and clingy today hello what's the matter um and then i'm going to go into faint which is a it's a very light shimmer um i might use my finger actually yeah i think i'm going to put that all over the lid with my finger and then blend that with some more of the phantom i'm going to take it quite high up and i'm going to do almost a halo eye like tap up to make my eye look bigger I really want to do the eyeliner but I also really don't want to ruin this nice simple eye look. I think I'll decide at the end. Dipped into phantom then. Useful. There we go. Such a nice shimmery colour. Oh, I really like that. This is a really easy way to just do a quick eye look as well. Above the, the crease, blend a bit of shimmer on the eyelid and then just blend them together with some more of the matte colour. And you can always tap over with a bit more shimmer, go backwards and forwards till you're happy with it really. Normally I'd spend a bit more time but I'm on a bit of a tight schedule today. <laughs> right and then I'm going to go, oh, now I know what I was going to. I want to make the inner corner look green. So I think I might just use some of Faint, the um, lid colour that I used. Let's see what that looks like in the inner corner. Maybe I can add a bit of a brighter. Oh, actually, I quite like that. It almost does look like it's its own colour. I'm just tapping over with a bit more of that faint the shimmer with a pencil brush this is a really good um sturdy brush so it packs on really well not really what it's meant for but it actually works really well for that and then with the same brush i'm going to put phantom underneath the crease shade I will buff, buff that out, yeah. <laughs> I like to start with this brush because, like I said, it packs on a nice bit of colour. And then buff with that brush that I used at the start. And I'm just going to fluff out this outer corner. I just tap over with my favourite brush. Tidy that up. Now, I feel like because I'm on a tight deadline, I won't worry about doing the eyeliner today. I'll do that in the next look that I do. If you put a comment down below what colour eyeshadow you want me to use next time um that will go with black eyeliner well any basically um and i will do it in the next video because i don't want to start it and then my husband comes home she starts barking and distracts me or i don't get it finished so i think it's just best to leave it as it is i really like this though I do feel like i just need to blend it is blended in the mirror but that's the older mirror and camera trick isn't it <laughs> there we go i really like that no idea what to do for lips bella um she seems to have a bad ear so i think she might have to go to the vets um she does get bad ear with her hay fever sometimes um mascara <laughs> it's just wandering around <laughs> what's happening you all right yeah if it doesn't settle down she'll have to go to the vets just get it checked I 
really like how this turned out though it's nice and bright like I wanted perfect for St Patrick's Day in my Mimi Twins video which is what I'm getting ready for this mascara is pretty much dried out I've said in like the last six videos I need to get a new one I literally just keep forgetting every time I do a video I'm like I needed a new mascara <laughs> but it works for videos especially as I don't wear lashes it's just easier to finish off a look with something rather than nothing I've got a, oh I've got a glossy lip at the moment. I think I'm gonna have to go through my lip stuff and choose a lip thing. But I, anyway, <laughs> yeah. So that's the finished um, look. I won't take this off because my hair's wet and I've got to dry it and it's a mess. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this is a nice, quick and easy look that um that you could try for St Patrick's Day if you wanted to if you had those sort of colours. Um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe if you did comment down below um what eyeshadow color you want me to do next and i'll see you in the next one bye